No! That's enough! I said stop! Quit whining. We're almost done. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show all about comic book-inspired original series on Prime Video. I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Prime Video channel. Today, we're spotlighting Angstrom Levy, a standout character from the Invincible comic book series. Angstrom is a technological genius hell-bent on getting his revenge. Couple that with his ability to travel across dimensions and you've got yourself a formidable villain. First, we'll dive into his comic history, exploring his contributions and developments, then we'll examine how this portrayal compares to the Angstrom as featured in the animated series. Angstrom Levy, a character with the power to create portals that enable him to travel to alternate realities, makes his comic series debut in Invincible 16. The issue opens in an alternate dimension with an evil version of Invincible delivering an equally evil PSA on a jumbotron in Times Square. In this dimension, Invincible joined forces with his father to prepare Earth for a Viltrum takeover. Angstrom first appears as a nameless man among the crowd of people running away, but his identity is soon revealed once he is greeted by the alternate dimensions robot and immortal. We quickly learn that Angstrom is working with a resistance group led by immortal and robot, and that he is just as intelligent as robot. It's revealed that Angstrom is working on some kind of invention that requires tech he is having a hard time getting his hands on. But before we can learn more, Invincible and Omni-Man burst in, killing Robot and Immortal. Angstrom is saved by another alternate dimension version of himself before he can meet the same fate. His alternate self transports him to the main dimension in which the Guardians of the Globe are fighting against an alien invasion. Once Angstrom and the alternate self who saved him reach a dock far away from the fight, he learns of the existence of multiple versions of himself across different dimensions. In the very next issue, Invincible 17, Angstrom frees the Mauler twins from captivity and enlists their expertise in his laboratory. He tasks them with constructing a device that will enable him to access knowledge from the home dimension of his alternate selves. The twins agree to assist, but they require additional equipment to complete the project. In issue number 18, Angstrom takes the twins to the warehouse located on the docks where he has been collecting and housing his alternate dimension selves. The device the Mauler twins assist with is finally ready in issue number 24. As Angstrom initiates the mind transfer device, the transfer sequence is interrupted by the arrival of Invincible who is there to recapture the Mauler twins. In response, Angstrom summons multiple Mauler variants from other dimensions to impede Invincible's efforts. During the chaos, Angstrom notices the Maulers attempting to kill Invincible, and Angstrom does not want Invincible dead. So, Angstrom removes the device from his head, which results in the demise of several Maulers and inadvertently causes physical deformities, memory loss, and distortion for Angstrom. Seeking repair and revenge, Angstrom journeys to another dimension to receive aid from a group known as the Technicians. It's important to note, the reason why Angstrom stopped the Maulers from killing Invincible was because he wanted to keep things non-violent as possible. However, the consequences of his actions result in setting him up for a descent into revenge, foregoing his non-violent efforts. Leveraging his newfound multi-dimensional knowledge, Angstrom uncovers the true identity of Invincible as Mark Grayson. In issue number 32, he shows up on the last page holding Debbie and Mark's younger half-brother hostage. In the following issue, Invincible number 33, Angstrom sends Invincible across dimensions as they fight, which ends in a desolate wasteland. Fueled by threats against his family, Invincible overpowers and defeats Angstrom. If this doesn't make Omni-Man have a bad day, nothing will. <sighs> God, no. All right, this is where we'll put a pen in Angstrom's comic book history deep dive, but we promise to revisit it again later. For now, we will move on to the version of the Angstrom we meet in the Invincible animated series. Just like in the Invincible comic series, Angstrom Levy is a character who possesses a unique ability among his counterparts across the dimensions. He can create portals to other realities. He actively explores these alternate dimensions, encountering various versions of himself and learning about realities where Invincible has allied with his father, Omni-Man, to dominate Earth. 
Angstrom makes his debut in season two, episode one, in the alternate dimension depicted at the beginning of the episode. Invincible and Omni-Man are working together to ready Earth for a takeover by the Viltrumites. It's in this particular timeline that Angstrom Levy is first introduced. He's a member of the Resistance fighting against Omni-Man and Invincible, and as the episode unfolds, Angstrom and other key Resistance figures such as Robot and Adam Eve face lethal threats from Invincible and Omni-Man. When the evil father and son duo show up to take out their Resistance members, Angstrom manages to escape by transporting himself through a portal to another dimension. Now on a quest for knowledge, Angstrom enlists the Mauler twins for their technological assistance, promising them a new reality of their choice in exchange for help. He plans to extract and merge the diverse knowledge of his alternate selves, spanning medical, technological, and philosophical fields. Considering himself an ethical and a pacifist, Angstrom aims to use this knowledge for the greater good. The Mauler twins are enticed by the promise of a new reality and intrigued by Angstrom's knowledge of other dimensions and advanced technologies, so they end up agreeing to assist him. However, Invincible intervenes when they activate their machine, mistakenly believing that Angstrom's intentions are malicious. A conflict begins despite Angstrom's attempts to explain with additional Mauler twins from other dimensions being summoned for assistance. The situation escalates, leading to a violent confrontation against Invincible, contrary to Angstrom's desires. As things continue to spiral out of control, Angstrom detaches himself from the memory transfer device technology the Mauler twins assisted in building, refusing to achieve his utopian vision through violence. This action, however, triggers a catastrophic explosion, resulting in the death of the Maulers and the Angstroms from other realities who are present. Surprisingly, the Angstrom connected to the machine survives and is later unearthed by the lone surviving Mauler. This survival comes at a cost. The abrupt disconnection causes significant mental confusion and memory distortion, blurring Angstrom's own memories with those of his alternate selves. Additionally, his physical appearance is severely altered. The resulting trauma fuels Angstrom's desire for revenge against Invincible, holding him responsible for the tragedy and loss of the loved ones in alternate dimensions. When Angstrom appears again at the end of episode two, he encounters another version of Invincible in a different reality, seeking insights into his defeat and captured by Cecil and the Global Defense Agency. In exchange for this information, Angstrom promises freedom to this version of Invincible after learning about the circumstances of his capture, including his father's death by quantum bomb. Angstrom abruptly departs as different versions of Cecil and Donald appear leaving the alternate Invincible in the GDA's custody. Angstrom doesn't appear again until the end of episode 6. It's a brief appearance as he walks through portals, making his way through multiple dimensions, seemingly stopping in the main dimension. He then appears at the end of episode 7, and just like in issue number 33 from the comic, he takes Debbie and Mark's half-brother hostage in the main dimension. Mark receives a call from Angstrom asking him when he is coming home, and in episode 8, Invincible arrives with a sonic boom to confront Angstrom, who threatens to break Debbie's neck. Invincible doesn't recognize Angstrom, but quickly remembers once Angstrom reminds him. Angstrom wants revenge, and just like in the comics, he sends Invincible across different dimensions only to bring him back to the main dimension and continues to threaten his family. Angstrom's memories are a mess as a result of the accident he had. As the different memories from his alternate selves surface, we get a glimpse into all of his encounters with the evil Invincibles of their dimensions. After Angstrom sends Invincible to yet another dimension, Debbie tries to stand up to him and in turn he breaks her arm. When Invincible finally returns to find Debbie's arm broken, he and Angstrom trade blows across dimensions. This doesn't end well for Angstrom once Invincible unleashes on him in the last dimension they travel to. And that concludes this deep dive character session of Superhero Club. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Superhero Club. And remember, you can check out season one and two of Invincible streaming now on Prime Video. Mm -hmm.